Hey, it's Drew Bentley here with Learn Guitar with Drew. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to play with dynamics, to play louder and softer. This all falls under the umbrella of being more musical and musicianship in general. We're going to be using the major scale and uh, playing with some phrases to learn how to do this. But first, thanks so much for checking out the video. So what I'm doing here is playing the E major scale in the fifth position, three note per string patterns. Let's go over the scale first, and then we'll start to look at how we can start to create some musical phrases with it. And descending. Now technically speaking, we could go down here, down below and catch that lower string as well. So basically, do re mi fa sol la ti do up the scale for two octaves. So what we're going to do is learn how to start to create some musical phrases. So there's kind of two levels to dynamics when I'm playing solos. The first level I call the beat pulse, and the second level I call the phrase pulse. So the beat pulse is keeping a beat while you're soloing or while you're playing single note melodies and it helps you to lock into the rhythm better. So for example, if I play this, it's kind of flatlined. What I'm gonna do is gonna, I'm gonna accent the first of each of the four notes and kind of create um, more of a beat pulse. So it's tippy tippy, tippy tippy, tippy tippy, tippy tippy. If you're playing 16th notes, Eighth notes, it's ta 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 ta, or if you're swinging ta 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 ta. -ta. Either way, you're accenting the first of the grouping. So if triplets, same thing. Do a triplet. That was lekete bokete, yekete bokete, yekete bokete ba. I was accenting the first of each six notes in the groupings. So why am I doing this? What this does is it enables you to lock into the rhythm better, better for rhythm playing as well, but for soloing for sure. Helps us to keep a steady beat while we're soloing. So I'll put this track on again. So if I play eighth notes. So if I do quarter notes, it's kind of hard to keep a beat pulse with quarter notes because that is the beat. We can establish our 16th note on one string first. So if you do that, I'm establishing a beat pulse while I'm playing. So if I solo freely doing that, you can hear the beat pulse in there. Whoop, 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 whoop. So if you don't know what to do as far as the soloing goes, take a look at the lesson on the channel about how to solo melodically. It's also in the same key using the same scale. It's kind of right up here for you to take a look at that and you can sort of use those concepts and then add this beat pulse and phrase pulse into that. Okay, so let's continue here and let's try some phrase pulses as well. So with a phrase pulse, your entire phrase can be louder or softer. So this gives you the duality of Dimension of uh, dynamics. There's like a louder and softer for the beat. There's also a louder and a softer for the phrase as well. The entire phrase may be louder or softer. And that's really cool because it gives the listener a very three dimensional sort of feel to what's going on. So if I play this beat pulse, if I throw some phrase pulses in there as well, I'm going to go really soft. 
and go really soft. And I'll get a little louder. Soft. Louder. So now I've got the B pulse and the phrase pulse happening simultaneously. And that's super cool. Let's try that. So that's the B pulse and the phrase pulse added together. So you may be asking yourself, what happens if I use distortion? Am I still going to be able to get the same amount of dynamic response? Uh, if you're playing out of a Marshall or a Mesa Boogie that's fully cranked, probably not. But a little bit of distortion or a mild amount of distortion, sure, you could definitely hear dynamic response when it comes to the B pulse and the phrase pulse. Check it out. Okay, so that's the beat pulse and the phrase pulse. Keep the beat pulse going all the time, no matter if you're playing 16th notes or 8th notes, even triplets or 16th note triplets or 32nd notes for that matter. Keep a beat pulse going, you'll lock in better with the groove of the song, and you'll also get this uh, sort of just three-dimensional aspect happening where you sort of have a heartbeat of the, of the music. Add in phrase pulses on top of that, which is like um, a larger wave. So here's your beat pulse, here's your phrase pulse. Beat pulse, phrase pulse. So you can have many beat pulses in one phrase pulse. If you do this, it makes your guitar playing jump out of the, of the uh, recording or of the live performance and you really hit the listener. It's one of those musicianship things that makes a big difference and people can feel it. And uh, it's one of the sort of earmarks of playing with feel. Okay, hopefully this was a lot of fun. If you got value, please hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it for supporting the channel. And as always, I can't wait to see you at the next lesson.